Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Renowned Explorers, more to explore. So let's go, let's go explore some more. Oof, I'm gonna level with you guys. I, I think this might be a fail. I think we might, uh, we might get killed to death out here. I just, I underestimated the fragileness of the group, or perhaps overestimated the explosiveness of the damage that they were gonna deal. Um, I'm concerned. All right, well, I'm also not actually sure how well suited we are to surviving the encounters here. Man. All right, so Harry wants to set up camp because he has tactician. I think that's how that works. Uh, Earl's plan is to head south and gain a point of resolve. And he has an 85% chance of succeeding. We're going to save the tool, I think. Uh, that's really good. I'm really, really pleased about gaining a point of resolve. But we are in a crappy place, <laughs> as far as resolve goes. Alright, let's take a couple of free trips. See what's what. Obviously, we don't want to skip out on an oasis, but we're going to... Uh, a ravine. You might find something useful at the bottom. Success is really only three tokens for a supply? It does seem weird. Yeah, go for it. We're close to... Actually, we're close to two oases, so... Now remember, our, um, our collect token is pretty spectacular right now. Ugh, why is everything... Why does everything have to be uh, two-point travel? Alright, so if I were going to hit both of these, what would be the most reasonable way to do that? I could take the cheap path, like here. Maybe to here if it's a good node. If not, just straight to the oasis. Then come back. There's no way really to do that without doubling back, but... I'm okay with it. I'm okay with a little potential doubling back. Okay. A group of British goons without a leader. Alright. So we're going to be engaging in a lot of brutal violence here. I'll say this as well. Um, part of the reason that we had such a hard time with the last set of fights in the last expedition is that I allowed myself to take a lot of hunger penalties. I don't think we can afford to do that anymore. Things are just, it's just a little too difficult. Alright, well, we'll all get over here near the bottleneck and prepare. There's not really a lot of preparing for him to do. But both Hattis and Harry have charge, or rather, uh, focus. So I don't actually know. What are your 15, 15 armor, nothing else really of interest. Okay, so we want to stand. Oh, wow. Okay, kind of doesn't matter. Turns out everything's under control. She really does get some very impressive range with that bow. The jumping must help. Well, you'd imagine leaping into the air with a bow would uh, affect your accuracy somewhat. Listen, I'm not an expert on archery. Uh, this may come as a total shock to you, but really, I'm not that great at most things that are mostly done outdoors. Uh, we're going to go for Earl on this. The payout's better from Harry, and there's no penalty for failure, except not getting a tool. Man, imagine if we had two tools. Think of it. Lay back. Close your eyes. Have a little dream sequence. Uh oh, the boom cycle is ready. This will surely be the next level in transportation. Here goes nothing. Oh no, it explodes into a thousand little pieces. Crew member becomes wounded. Earl finally sees that all his work always explodes. He's a crap inventor, just like his mother always told him. Wow. Earl doesn't think too highly of himself. It's quite t quite sad to see. Harry pats Earl on the back. 
Earl might make things explode, but bye, Pinkerton. You two will make it to uh, be renowned explorers. Okay, that was... So, Earl is wary of Earl? Uh, some kind of some kind of bug has occurred here. Well, as much as I want to pick up XP for doing things, I really can't... Like I said, I don't think we can afford to eat a million hunger penalties. Uh, Earl, go fishing. Not a lot to say here. We've seen these oasis events a million times. Alright. Managed to get four supplies. Oh no! Harry is caught stealing rations! No. Rations. Rations. I... This is not a new word. I am not unfamiliar with this word. I don't know what is going on with me today. Alright. Uh, aware of Earl's kind nature and his weak spot for Harry's orphan stories, Harry makes a reflex excuse. So we could own up to it. But... This gets me collect tokens. And also, we know Harry's kind of gullible, so... Or, we know Earl's kind of gullible. Earl doesn't know how to react. Of course, he's angry, but he doesn't want to push Harry. Alright. I didn't think that would work. With Earl's soft spot and with such a tragic past, Harry could get away with almost anything. Yeah. Can't stop his conscience, prote conscience protesting. I noticed he kept the food, though. Sandra and the Rivalinis. Hmm. So this will help us chase Cassandra. Here's the thing. Obviously, it would be better for us to take the encounter for the XP. It would level Harry up as well. But we're actually going to have a problem with the challenges inside. I think we need the 25% uh, extra chance. Alright. Cause yeah, we're not we're not any good at this. I'm gonna tool this and have have Harry go for it. I want that treasure, man. Alright. So at this point we can just uh, look for the look for the switches pressed by Cassandra. Which reduces our chance of completing the challenge, but yeah, we're... I'm not going to tool this, right? <sighs> no. I'm going to take the 80%. I feel okay about it. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I said I feel okay about it, I was like, wait a second. Do I feel okay about it? Well, we do want that mask. Yeah. Give it, or we'll punch your lights out. So I think this will start us both in aggressive stance, which means we'll be able to open up a little bit of enrage, extra power enrage. So we want to finish Devious if we can. Nope, had no effect on the starting mood. Devious is going to be a tough one. That's okay. If we have to beat Cassandra up, that's, that's something I'm totally willing to do. So who has the higher attack? Hattis is slightly higher. I can't remember if there are more reinforcements. Hattis' attack is only slightly higher because she's getting the buff from Harry. When she steps away from him, uh, she loses that. So should we start with a friendly move then? Yeah, let's do that. Let's have Harry go here. I want him to be able to hit one of these guys with a friendly attack, and I want him to still be able to provide Hedis with the buff. I don't think there's any way to do it. The enemies are too far apart, unfortunately. Oh well. Alright, we'll just light one of these guys up this way. Hattis won't have Harry's buff. She'll still have uh, plus 50% attack power, which is a larger buff. Looks like maybe not quite sufficient for the one-shot. Oh no, she rolled high and got there. 57 damage on the female Rivalini. 
Ri Rivalina, maybe? That's probably right. Uh, these guys are resistant to Enrage, which is unfortunate. If we can get Cassandra's crew to follow us into aggressive, that would be best. So we, we want to stay aggressive. If she wants to... Actually, if she goes devious, it'll be a, a pretty pretty big bummer. And hopefully Earl's wounded thing only lasts one battle. Wow, the uh, cone actually gets quite large. So Cassandra here is weak to Excite, which we do not have, and strong against Enrage. But that's okay, because we would only use Enrage once, just to, you know, get her armor straight. I actually kind of wonder if maybe that's what I should have done. So he has range. They both have range. Yeah, I mean, we'll just shoot at her. No fancy strategy to be employed here. Just fire projectiles at your enemies. Does seem like a little bit overkill, but she is going to try to probably attack us with that snake. Which is a screwed up thing to do. Well, I appreciate her falling back on the turn where she uh, completely destroyed our speech defense. Uh, so first we do that. All right, now I think what we would do is just attack her uh, devious for the rest of the battle. Uh, I don't think that I want to heal Hattis if it's going to mean that she ends up in the impressed state, because Cassandra will flatten her if that happens. No, you leave Hattis alone! Well, there goes that extra point of resolve that we got. 54 damage, Jesus. And she gets a buff from that. She has a she has a large, powerful attack that buffs her. Alright. Do I even want to bother trying to go devious on her? Yeah, it would be cool if our speech defense wasn't like, completely in the toilet. Uh, to that end, we can make her sad. That should, that should help soften the blows somewhat. But yeah, this party is just very fragile. And the damage is good, but it's not so good that it makes up for how fragile we are, I think. We really need to invest in some more items. Fortunately, we're very gold-focused, and that's actually a possibility. Yeah, this sucks. The fact that she's strong against the... Uh, Okay, so what we'll do is we'll hit her with the Enrage to flip her. And it won't do a lot of damage, but it will strip her armor, and then Harry's just going to shoot her. Actually, I did this in a silly way. We want Harry to have the, uh, the bonus attack power from being next to... Or, we want Earl to have the bonus attack power from being next to Harry. And then... Hattis can restore the sad. I'm trying to keep her from killing Earl in one hit or anything. What is she at now? 51? So we should be able to bring her down this next turn, I think. Okay. And all she does is fire off an area buff at nobody. Which is what I would describe as a weak strategy. Uh, I don't think I want to switch her over to Enrage here, because I'm afraid that he'd kill her. We definitely want to finish Devious. It won't be the end of the world if we don't get those two Collect Tokens, but, like, why not take two Collect Tokens, right? So we're on 13, 16. Yeah, this should do it. Alright, so we are Resolve Neutral, so far. And 
Cassandra is overcome by emotions. And we get free stuff. Uh, so, current highest level survivalist gains plus one discovery on survivalist spins. I'm actually not sure which... I mean, the fourth island we're going to do, I guess, or the fourth expedition, rather, is going to be the Forbidden Island, or the, the Sunken Island. Well, the Emerged Island, rather. I think there's a fair number of survivalist checks there. And I know Discovery Tokens aren't the best tokens ever, but they do have gold on them. I think this is the way to go. Um... I want to focus rogue. Yeah, let's get up to four. You know how the game is now about having four ranks and things. Alright, so we'll head this way to take advantage of a little bit of low cost travel, which is followed immediately by some high cost travel. Uh, do I want to bother with this? Losing a supply. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Alright, we got another one of these. Approaching the British is the best way to get loot. Um, we can just take the two supplies, which is our reward for fighting. Well, obviously we should take the fight. We need the XP. There's a lot of things that happen in the Egyptian desert that punish you for being aggressive toward the British. Uh, but strangely, you can you can beat up on the British during these combats all you want, and uh, during these Oasis events, and they never tell anybody about it, you never get in any trouble. Seems a little odd. Alright, Haddis, come on. You can do it, we believe in you. That is not enough damage. Yeah, she's adjacent here. I left myself in a position where it was not possible for me to get Harry's buff while also shooting at those. But, I think, actually, if I hit these two with piercing shot, experimentation should be enough to finish them off. Yeah. We haven't actually gotten to use experimentation all that much. Uh, it's also, of course, worth noting that Earl doesn't have all his abilities yet, and we really do want him to level up as quickly as possible because he's missing his line stun. And a stun is really important to a group of low health, high damage characters. Alright, so now we can have Harry stand back and fire off his cone attack. Do I want to first inflict some armor penalties? How much does it look like it'll do? Yeah, let's throw an armor penalty on her. That will absolutely guarantee that she gets, gets downed. Alright, and now we just have to make sure this guy doesn't one-shot anybody. I don't think he can kill Earl. And obviously Earl's the only one who's low enough to even think about, oh wait a second, if he destroys Earl's speech defense, oh he's not even going to attack the right target. Wow, still quite a bit of damage, especially relative to our health pools. We are going to be completely on edge until everybody has legendary defensive items. Alright, so we got the supplies. Earl is two encounters off. Two encounters or rolls. A British camp. Thank goodness. So, I mean, obviously we want to go for the supplies. Is this worth tooling? I'm trying to think. We're going to have the check with the mummy general, which is going to be tough. But we do have somebody who has three levels of tactician, so we can play the game of war with him. I guess the only other thing I might want a tool for is if we've got the Red Hill. Red Hill's quite difficult. 
Man. I want to roll Harry for the extra tokens, but it really is quite a significant difference. Harry is not a diplomat. Let's, uh, let's go for the supply. Plus, Harry is up a level on everybody. Alright, uh... Well, I'm gonna take the two-point travel because it shows me more nodes. Yeah, there you go. And that was a node that was definitely worth seeing. Alright, cryptic knowledge can be used to increase grit or speech defense. Well... Why don't we increase... Hattis' speech defense is pretty low. Alright. Oh yeah, I suppose we get to play a campfire card. So there's lots of good ones. Lucky Gold is compelling. Um, this also is compelling. Especially since I know there are rogue checks here. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Quite handy at pickpocketing, as Earl has discovered. Yeah, I don't think I want to hold on to either of those cards. So we can go one down to here, one up to here, and then one out. It's the same amount of supplies spent as walking the more direct and expensive route, but it gives us, uh, you know, knowledge of whether that one node is the thing we're looking for, is a hidden hoard. Alright, so we found the elusive Temple of Thoth. A trap! How does things fast? Uh... Well, I think I'd rather have almost anything than a single campaign token. Right, we're not actually going to get a choice here, right? Yeah, because we have... That's fine. We would have chosen wealth anyway. Harry's got sad face, but seriously, this is what we wanted. So we're on 26 collect tokens. I think this is right. I mean, it's not actually more gold at the end of this expedition than taking the treasure hunt is, but it might end up being more gold, and obviously um, it'll be better in the long run. Alright. Well, we get lots more tokens. And then Hattis leads an escape that gets us even more tokens. Wow, we uh, ended up with a lot of treasure hunts there. Oh no, the danger's not over yet. Here's a scorpion for some reason. That has to be fought solo. Uh, so he has not a lot of armor. And there's not really a lot of finesse to this fight. Also, Hedis has enough damage uh, that... Yeah, that happens. Not a lot to say about that. <laughs> Okay, so that'll get Hattis another perk. Do I want to give her a level of Engineer? I don't know that I need level 4 Quick Thinker. And we do have a card that gives us uh, tokens based on our level of Engineering. No, we're just going to go for the perk upgrade. Uh, the, the Quick Thinker upgrade. They're all perk upgrades. Alright. Let us bravely soldier onward. Alright, so this is a node that gives us a perk. Obviously, we uh, don't want to pass that up. Alright, something happens. Oh no, we're being raided by bandits. Uh, well, Harry. Harry's the kind of guy who likes to do things. So, we could get Harry a fourth point of tactician. Which is something that's interesting. Or we could pick up a point of athlete. I think what I want to do is pick up a point of athlete. Let's let's rainbow out a little bit. Uh. Oh no, we lost extra supplies. Well, I don't want to take a bunch of hunger penalties. So we might have to cut the expedition a little short. Obviously, I was hoping to end up with 50 collect tokens. We're not quite getting there. 
All right, let's do this just so we get to look at the surrounding nodes. Okay. Earl loses speech defense. That's not the end of the world. This node has potentially treasure at it. We have to... Yep. One crew member splits off and runs away. Little delta split action there. And then the British capture the rest of us. So... Well, let's not do that. Yeah, how does... Go ahead, try to negotiate with him. Let's, let's try to get a better cell, shall we? A better class of gruel fed to us every night. Alright, so we get to be locked up in a nice tent. Ah, uh, yes, I know. We are not to use violence. Uh, focus on getting collect tokens. Explore some other tents. Look at that, 90%. Our crew is actually, apparently, pretty well suited to the roles on this challenge, at least. Alright, two treasure hunt tokens, and we'll do the sneaking, because... Ooh. Oh wow, I thought for a second there we were actually going to fail that. Alright, and we get the golden scarab. That worked out pretty well. Uh, so we definitely take the six collect tokens. That's a no-brainer. Fifteen more collect tokens by the end of the expedition. I don't know. Here, there's speech power. Hey, everybody, stop, uh, stop losing stuff. Okay. Here, there's attack power, of course. All right, here we go. Now, this triggers underdog and gets us nine more collects. Okay, I think we might... We might just make it to our 50. Uh, why is everybody always losing attack power first? It's very frustrating. Uh, it would be really nice if we didn't fail this. I don't think that I'm going to roll for the discovery token. I think the 5% chance to get more supplies is actually important enough to be worth booting a discovery token. Alright. So that sucked. I, I'm, I'm super bummed about the fact that we lost attack power right away. Uh, Harry, get us some gold. Get us some sweet, sweet collect tokens. Oh no, stop, stop, stop. Nope. Well. Uh, not getting the full complement of supplies doesn't really matter. Okay. It's him is the eagle. Who has had as his sister, it turns out. Hey, small fry, I was hoping to find you here. I'm here to collect my debt you still owe me from two years ago. I have ready to cough it up. That incident cost my two arama uh, uh, aramathas. Uh, you know what? Don't, no, don't take any of our money. Okay, she's messing with us. So we get a discovery token and some binoculars. Uh, that's pretty cool. Can we throw those on somebody now? Let's put them on Earl. It only gives Earl one point of perk, but Earl is the person who's going to benefit from plus one movement the most. Are you the Hidden Horde by any chance? Nope. Alright, let's get out of here. But of course, everybody lost attack power on the way out. Alright, uh... I guess it makes sense to go for campaign over study. All of a sudden, the sarcophagus busts open. We should be pretty okay at the game of war. Indeed we are. Alright, sadly we don't have the archaeology skill necessary to get the, uh, the hidden treasure there at the end. If you have four archaeology, you just get a free treasure. Sorry, I should say if one particular crew member has four archaeology. You can't have four levels of archaeology spread over the group. Yes, yeah, so this sucks. I said we couldn't really afford to have that happen. Uh, to have speech penalties, or any penalties, hunger penalties, pile up on our guys. And then I decided to take a risk in the name of getting more treasure... And I sure did get more treasure, but honestly, we may be doomed now. 
We're just gonna have to uh, be careful how we fight this. I no, there's very little chance that it matters. We're, we're probably doomed. All right, can you get a one shot? You can. Earl is the only person who doesn't have artificially decreased attack power. So I know that ordinarily the strategy I pursue is to uh, push against one, uh, the back wall away from the boss, eliminate those enemies, and then uh, take the, the rest of the enemies as they still approach in waves. I think this time what we're going to try to do is push toward this uh, closer wall in the hopes of getting to blow the boss up before having to deal with all of the lackeys. Oh no, Earl, look out. Okay, not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, the regen zone really doesn't heal very much. Alright, so she is weak against Enrage, which bodes pretty well for us. Uh, Earl has higher speech than Harry. So we commit the Enrage right here. And then we get to slowly blow the boss up with our artificially lowered stats. Wow, that's not very much damage at all. Yeah, I'm really disappointed by that. How much armor do you have? You have 25 armor after reduction. Wow. Okay, well, that'll explain it. Ah, oh, she's not close enough to sadden. Well, we're gonna fall back into this choke a little bit. I actually may even have everybody move a little further back, just so that, like, um... Harry can be in front because he has the highest armor, and then Earl and then Hattis behind. Put everybody in the position of the greatest possible safety. We're going to go ahead and use this over the physical attack. Just anything to deal more damage. We are not long for this world if the enemy gets to attack us a bunch. Dodge, Harry, dodge for all you're worth. Oh, eight damage is not even that bad. He really does have quite a bit of armor. Oof. Yeah, that has to be the last time that happens. Uh, so if I do move Hattis back to here... And then I move Earl to here and Harry to here. This is my plan. So let's do that. Uh, when the boss is within melee range of Harry, all three of us will be able to attack due to our, uh, our given attack ranges, I think, actually, yeah, this makes sense, making him confident. Alright, as for right now, unfortunately, the back two can't hit her. Have to wait for her to close. But she's on 75. We might be able to down her this coming turn. It's possible. And it looks like we, yeah, we are, in fact, going to successfully avoid having to deal with those enemies at all. Alright, so... Earl is all buffed up. Half of the boss's health by himself. Alright, this is built up to be more powerful than her standard attack. Alright, so she's only got like 20-ish health left, right? 18? Yeah, you can do this. Oh. Uh, it looks like if he gets the lowest possible damage roll, he won't quite bring her down. Alright. He got her by one. So actually, I have to say, Egypt went a lot better than I was afraid it might. And now, after Egypt, we're going to have a whole lot of money. We're going to be able to buy a bunch of gear. And so the fourth expedition should be relatively a lot safer. Yep, and Earl just now got his stun. Speech defense permanently increased by five on all crew members. That's a big deal. Alright, 
with that segment mask. Uh, four treasure hunt tokens is a lot of money. And actually quite a lot of status. Yeah. All right. Apparently we are uh, we're we're getting the treasure. It's nice that we agree on things at least. Come on, lucky roll. Let's see one more treasure hunt token added to the big pile. Excellent. Man, I really wish I'd taken that plus twenty five percent gold from uh, tokens campfire story now, because we didn't end up getting to use Earl's thing very much. Or do we? Do we hit it at all actually? Or, uh, <clears throat> I think I said Earl. I mean Harry, of course. Harry's bonus, uh, bonus from rolls. Alright, so we are going to get our plus two insights. It's a little awkward. I, I have a feeling that you can, you can utilize this a lot more effectively than I have by not having to spend so much insight in the middle and then having a better plan for buffing up your insight payouts. But, we are for sure going to be able to get, uh... Going to be able to get the Africa Insight Spenders, since we have access to both of the shops already. Alright, 2477 gold is enough to make a start. Alright, yep, Timbuktu is the only place we have available, so that's, uh... I think we just go deep on the engineering. We've got Strike of Fear now. Alright, we ended up with quite a lot of resources, so I'm not 100% sure what we want to do. I think going to observations and upping the value of gold even more is probably the right play, but I don't know... It's not... the um, the actual policies in here are not super great. Huh, policies. The actual research papers in here are not super great. Obviously I've been playing Civ again. We could go to Nature Sciences as well, get the improved discovery tokens, and then more frequent discovery tokens. And uh, this way we end up with another source of gold. Every time we find a treasure we get two big tokens, each of which gives a significant amount of gold. But this just gives plus 50% renown from gold. That has to be... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this. So, the question is, what do we give Harry? I think we're going to give him a point of naturalist. Right? He doesn't need engineer. And the time for archaeology has passed. We are definitely still going to run into challenges that want you to be an archaeologist. But they're actually going to be less common than naturalist uh, challenges, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go for the uh, we're gonna go for the extra boost to the renown value of gold. <clears throat> hey, become a geologist. All right. Plus, I mean, we do get two more insight for our insight linear. Uh, I don't think I want to bother trying to finish this now, right? I went to the Timbuktu Ruins. Yeah, that's really not that many tokens. Oh, Hattis' crew story gives a bonus when spending tokens with a quick thinker. Uh, hopefully we can get that played, actually. It would be okay to play that next and play Lucky Find last, I suppose. Doesn't feel great, but it would be okay. So let's upgrade this and buy plus one to two status from collect, maybe? Probably, right? We just want to keep buffing up the value of the collect token. Uh, so Harry... Harry picking up a level of quick thinker wouldn't be, wouldn't be terrible. Do I want to just give him another point of athlete, though? With the with the way they changed the value of a lot of the perks, it does seem like stacking up a little bit is uh, 
is pretty strong now. I'm gonna give him Quick Thinker. We'll just we'll just rainbow out with the old school way. All right, what uh, what else do we need? Where else do we still have options? Let's see what the last group here is. Athlete Wrestling. Rogue Merciless and Survivalist Hunting are the ones that give collect tokens. So those are both interesting. Survivalist Hunting is a little bit less than ideal for Harry since we took that treasure that gave the uh, the bonus to Earl. I might just put Survivalist Hunting on Earl though so he's better at potentially earning those tokens. And plus one collect whenever you enter a nature challenge is valuable. Yeah. Uh, Earl will learn Survivalist Hunting. And then here, I could pick up another point of rogue. Not that I think that I need a fifth point of rogue necessarily. Or like naturalist. But that only. This specialist only gives study tokens, which is not, you know. I'm not nearly as excited. I think, yeah, this place is like completely unupgraded still. Hmm. Now I kind of wish I'd, uh, wish I'd given Harry an athlete perk, because if I had, you know, smashing uh, Tenacious and then buy Stamina with the, uh, the machete, we're getting all these extra collect tokens, man. Let's go ahead and, and feel out what else is available. Tactician Defense or Offense? He has Defense already. This is kind of a no-brainer. Here you will learn offense. Okay, so plus one collect whenever Harry succeeds on the adventure wheel. Pretty obviously good. Uh, we have 255 status left. The middle guy here costs 300, doesn't he? Yeah, so we can't quite get that. I really don't want to spend any insight just yet. And the good guys here are all 300 as well. We may as well. I think we'll just do this anyway. We'll pump up his athlete skills a little bit. He has smashing, so he learns tenacious. Alright. So we have 14 insight. Which is a pretty good total for this point in the game. It's almost as though we didn't spend a bunch of it already. Let's get to buying some stuff. So I probably want to buy better defensive items. Because our damage actually isn't that bad. So I could I could buy... Oh, this isn't even upgraded all the way. I could buy a 1350 armor for Harry. Pass this armor down to Earl. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Okay. Uh, Haddis, do you want something? You probably want something, right? Unfortunately, we can't get to 1350 for her. Is there one of these that really, like, jumps right out at me? No, not really. I don't, I don't need particularly new trinkets. The other thing we could do is spend this money toward a couple of gloves. Uh, this is the wrong shop, which is... This is the one I want. Outback Supplies. Let's do that. Let's pick up some offensive ability as well. Alright, none of this stuff is hugely relevant to my current strategy, which is, of course, murder. So, we just go with the Master Red Gloves, right? Double down on beating up enraged targets. Um, Haddis and Earl both have, like, equal need. Very equal need. <clears throat> I 
I suppose if I'm just trying to get the party's killing ability up, the thing that makes sense is to move these red gloves onto one of them and then buy gloves from the other one, and let Harry have the garbage gloves since his attack is already naturally higher. Well, we're definitely doing this. I don't know for sure that this is the arrangement of these three gloves, but we're definitely buying the glove. We can, uh, we can mark that part down at least. I think I'm going to... do this with it. Man, actually, Earl's attack stats are so bad, though. They just have not developed. Yeah, his speech power with the plus eight is still just slightly above hers. I think we'll leave it like this. Alright, I don't think I want to spend any more money. Right, unless there's a trinket that's like obviously amazing and I'm just forgetting about it for a moment. I've never really tried war drums. I don't know how valuable it is to start every encounter confident, especially considering that if I really wanted to, there's almost always an opportunity at the start of battle to just back off. Um, and then we can, you know, have uh, had us make people confident instead of having to have the drums do it at the beginning of the battle. Honestly, I think we'll just hold the 278 gold, use it to buy things that are more exciting after we have a little bit more money. So, next time, the Emerged Island. Uh, I think I I'm coming around on this group. I don't know how good our score is going to be, but I think we're at least going to finish. Uh, come back next time and see if I'm a huge idiot. And we'll see you then.